Hi, this is Cycle 2, Week 11 Science, the Solar System Model Inside. This is a very good experiment. This is a very crafty week uh, of science, which is always a lot of fun. You will need some yellow construction paper for your students. You'll need plenty of black construction paper uh, for your students. You will also need uh, the handy-dandy scientific instrument known as the ruler. Uh, we always have to have a scientific instrument as we're doing science. This is a great opportunity to talk about scale and, and to help the kids understand scale a little bit and to give them a, a hands-on sense uh, of the distances. You will recall that in week eight, we set up the, the model of the solar system that was outside, uh, and that was definitely a lot of fun. It gave the, the kids a chance to practice being their favorite planet or, or however you chose to do it. Uh, but, but now we're bringing everything inside and the students are able to make their own model, uh, something on construction paper that they can take home, uh, that they can take home with them. Uh, also, to help with the model, you, you need some gems. I mean, everybody needs gems, but you especially need them this week. Uh, for the smaller planets, we're using four millimeter gems for Mercury and for Mars. Slightly bigger at six millimeters, we're going to represent Earth and Venus. Uh, a, little, a little bit further away, um, we're going to, to use the uh, eight millimeter beads to be Uranus and Neptune. And then our largest beads are uh, 12 millimeter beads to be Jupiter uh, and, and Saturn. Uh, and so we'll, we'll, we'll show a little bit more here in just a second about what the, the final craft looks like. But as you're setting up uh, to do this week, uh, again, the, the principle that we really want to emphasize is distance uh, and scale. Uh, depending on the age of your children, uh, I would try to help them visualize uh, just again one more time how far these astronomical distances are, these cosmic uh, distances. You, you could uh, maybe start with uh, some questions about who's taken a summer vacation? Well, well where did you go? Uh, maybe figure out among the kids who's gone the farthest or, or maybe if if you and your family have taken especially a long distance trip uh, if you live in North America if you've gone um, to Southeast Asia if, if you've gone to uh, Australia even to Europe um, you know big distances like that long trips those are the kinds of things that you want to highlight and, and if any of your students or you have have traveled to such places those would be great examples um, uh, of big distances but the key point that we want to make this week is that all of that is travel on our planet, right? That's all intra-planet traveling. And, and so the, the circumference of the Earth is about 25,000 miles. Uh, the closest planet to Earth varies a little bit depending on where the planets are in their, in their um, orbits. Uh, certain um, times Venus passes very close to Earth, but in general, Mercury spends the most time as the closest planet to the Earth. Uh, and Mercury, uh, is about 48 million miles away uh, from uh, the Earth. So if the circumference of our planet is 25, a little, little less than 25,000 miles, and the closest planet is about 48 million miles, that means that you could travel around our entire Earth nearly 2,000 times before you would reach the closest planet. And so then as the kids are thinking about my you know, family vacation to Europe, it took you know, six hours in an, in an airplane or, or whatever, that puts it into scale. You're only traveling a little tiny fraction of that circumference of the earth. And look, if we could stack them all up, so it's, so it's huge. And that's the closest planet. That's the closest planet. Um, and, and so I, I think that that's the key thing that you wanna uh, try to talk about. Again, in an age appropriate way uh, for your students, help them get a sense uh, of those distances. And then we're going to look at the solar system. Uh, so to actually construct um, the, the solar system, uh, I recommend the construction paper, the eight and a half by 11. Um, I, I would simply, I would simply cut it in half and I would tape them together. Um, uh, tape them together. You probably want about um, an inch and a half or two inch strip of the yellow uh, to represent the sun. And then you're going to use the distances as, as they're given in the foundations guide in order to create the scale. Uh, to, to create the scale. So the scale that we're using, Neptune is about 15 inches away. So, so you, again, you, you want probably about your, your, your whole piece of paper, you want to be about 20 inches. You want some, some space at the end. Uh, but on this 15 inch scale, then uh, one inch represents approximately 190 million miles. 190 million miles is one inch of our black piece of paper. Uh, when the students are done. And so then the, the book walks them through. Uh, what I would su suggest then for, use your best judgment. Certainly for the older kids, I think this is a great opportunity for them to practice, you know, talk about the scale, talk about summer trips, talk about distances, and then get their paper out 
uh, their black construction paper that you know after it's been cut in half and, and take it and so from from the distance from the sun then mercury is going to be about a quarter of an inch 0.2 inches one fifth of an inch away okay so let them um, set it set it out on their ruler uh, mark it mark a dot with their gel pen and I suggest you mark all of the planets uh, as you go out so then um, and then have the students go back then and label them so when they're done when the students then uh, are done then the, the completed piece would look something very much like this. Something very much like this. And so, again, then you could talk about questions like, what are the inner planets? What are the outer planets? Uh, when we're looking at this in scale, um, you know, it's pretty easy to see that the four rocky planets are the inner planets, right? And, and the, uh, the outer planets are, are those then uh, that are much, much further away. And so, you, again, you get the sense that Neptune, um, at 15 inches away, uh, it's amazingly far from the sun compared to Earth, uh, which is the green gem here on, on this particular um, construction. Um, the I, I forgot one very important thing, but but this highlights it very well. We have to represent the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt is best represented by every mother's favorite invention, glitter glue. Who doesn't want their kid to have a chance to play with glitter glue? What adult doesn't want? have a chance to play with glitter glue. I know we all do. Uh, and so uh, some glitter glue, um, you could get glow in the dark glitter glue, such as we have a good move on the part of our director, just makes it all that much cooler. Um, and then, uh, so that, then again, the students can then space it out. I wouldn't worry too much about where your asteroid belt goes. I mean, it clearly has to go between Jupiter and Mars, but beyond that, I wouldn't worry about its exact position. Um, and then and, and then they have a good sense uh, of the distance. If you wanted to, to even enhance this a little bit more or for your craftier kids, you know, you could do hole punches at, at the top or at the bottom, I suppose, uh, and, and put some string through it and make a door hanger, right, out of it. Something that the kids um, can take home, especially for your bigger kids, this is a good, or a really good craft, something that they will um, enjoy doing, something that really drives home um, the point. Working with the scale, I think, will be challenging, but just encourage them, um, help them line up the rulers. You, you'll, you probably would like one ruler per kid, it would be best, um, but at least a couple um, so, that, so that they can get this made. Uh, for your younger kids, uh, I think there, there are some other options. So the scale, I think, is, is the critical thing that we want to talk about, and you still can, even with the younger kids. Uh, but uh, if, if, the, if the idea of the glitter glue and the, the gems and, and the, the glue and the ruler, the scale, if all that is, is, is a little bit much or it's out of range, uh, in your opinion, for your kids, then there's plenty of, of crafts like this. So this is a craft that our director found. Again, it's, it's available online. Um, this is the Solar System Craft from thecraftychicks.com. Uh, and I think this one is great. So the kids have a chance then to color uh, the, the plant. There's, there's a, an illustration of the sun as well. And then similarly, you'll take the black construction paper, cut it in half, let them color it, and then let the students put the different pieces, uh, the different um, pieces of paper uh, and the planets back on. Um, again, this particular one doesn't include the asteroid belt. So by all means, break out the glitter glue uh, and put your asteroid belt back in between Mars and Jupiter. Uh, and then, uh, so here now, the things are not drawn to the same kind of scale. And so that is, would be a difference of taking this kind of approach um, because of the, 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 the size of the individual things. The, the, the size of the beads is relatively negligible over the 15 um, inches that we're totally spacing it out. Not so, these. But I think you could still illustrate the point of scale to the kids, talking about uh, you know, the circumference of the Earth and the, close, the distance to, to, Mar, uh, to Mercury um, and, and give them that same kind of sense. Uh, for the, especially for the little ones, for the ABC Darians. But again, use your best judgment. If if you prefer to, to use the, the gems and to set everything up uh, for whatever age group, then that, that experiment, that demonstration is really cool. Uh, either way, the distance of the of the universe that our God made is enormous. Uh, and, and the final thing that I would emphasize to the kids is that when we're done with this or with this, right, this 15 inches, these planets, this asteroid belt, this is just our solar system. It's a single star. Uh, it's a single star. And, and there are almost incalculable numbers uh, of stars, millions, maybe billions of stars uh, in, in the galaxy that the, that the Lord has made. Uh, and, and so I think that is worth emphasizing as well, that when we really think about the cosmic universe and a cosmic distance, it's hard enough to truly grasp this solar system, much less the entire universe, even our Milky Way our specific galaxy, right? One, just one galaxy. So uh, it, it's a very good demonstration, very crafty, uh, good use of the ruler and the scale. I think this one will be a lot of fun. This is something that everyone can do. This is Cycle 2, Week 11 Science.